So when I went through medical school, I noticed that there are so many gaps in the healthcare system that even if I set out to become the best doctor that there is, that I'll always be held back by systemic limitations within the way healthcare is currently managed and delivered. So I had a choice to make, to either be the best doctor in a broken system or to actually fix the system for, so that every other doctor that comes after me has a much better experience delivering care. So I heard a baby cry and it was crying relentlessly, not stopping. And I went outside and I found this old lady, elderly lady, holding a baby in her arms. And I asked, it was obviously not her baby, and I asked her, whose baby is this? And then she said to me, it's my daughter's, it's my grandchild. And I said, where's the mother? And she said, she died two weeks ago. And my heart just went out to her. And I asked her, I said, why, why didn't you take this baby to the hospital? She said, I did, but there was no medicine. And at that point, I just said to myself, you know what? Someone just has to do this. And that someone is me. So I will stay. I'm not going anywhere. Everybody is focusing on the patient and how they can cure these people, but no one is focusing on how to get these services to the people. So I think that is the missing link. Imagine a patient who's living in the tribal areas. They have to walk through the mud and wade through streams, maybe then catch a bus, if they have the bus fare, if at all, and then reach the public dot center, maybe at 10 or 11, and spend the rest of the day, and then get back dead tired and exhausted at the end of the day. And then they have to go again after 48 hours. I wonder how they can do it. actually is to be, you know, members of the government. We can't say that I'm private, you're government, you know, you're separate from me. We are all part of this government. And as part of this government, our role is to be actively, you know, um, doing something about problems and not just complaining. Instead of this charitable mentality of waiting until someone uh, pulls you out of the mud that you're in without you participating in the work, we've seen them um, realize that no, the development that we seek depends on us. by people working hard to change people's lives for the better, doing good for the community, like I do. <laughs> don't put boundaries on yourself. Let boundaries come from outside, but don't put them on yourself. You know, you've already then defeated yourself before you're out of the starting blocks. So go out there and try and make it happen. And half the time, guess what? You actually succeed. It's important for all of us as innovators to look for those points along the way that tell us, yes, you are on the right track. Yes, you will succeed. And that part of the journey is what we need to really take as our motivation that we're doing well.
Don't wait until the end of the journey. You may die waiting for the end of the journey. <laughs>